my phone. <laughs> Funny video. I wonder what's the song name. Huh. <laughs> Bakami Tai. Isn't that from a game? Hmm. Overwhelmingly positive. Interesting. It's on sale too. I'll buy it. It's only five dollars. Install. <laughs> that was fantastic. Oh man, oh man, oh boy, oh boy, that I have, do I have a lot of things to say. Man, Yakuza Zero, what a thrill ride. From my video game career, I mean, I've been living in this world for 200 years old, and I've never played a video game that is so action-packed and has such a wonderful story in it. Where it turns out there's literally seven, more than seven games actually, more than seven games in the series, and I've never heard about it until this song appeared in literally in the middle of the internet. I saw the game on Steam and it's on sale, so I'm like, you know, why not? Let me just buy it, and I did, and it was worth it. It's around four to five dollars, which is a steal for uh, that price because Yakuza Zero is filled with content. Fun, a lot of mini games. Well, personally, I don't. Usually, I don't really like to play mini games. I thought, I thought they're just a waste of time and only for optional and perp and like 100% sake. But in Yakuza, they actually made me play some of those mini games, and I'll tell you exactly why. I'm, but you know, I'm here telling you either Yakuza Zero is worth playing or not, and. And I can assure you, yes, it is worth it. But all jokes aside, it actually is worth it. Yakuza 0, at first, it actually can be anything that you wanted. I mean, Yakuza 0 will be another Yakuza game that diehard Yakuza fans have been waiting for literally for years, and Yakuza 0 definitely serves it. Or Yakuza could be a very good single-player, narrative-driven narrative game, which I think is Yakuza Zero's main focus, which is its narrative. So damn good! For example, like, all of you single-player video gamers don't know what to play, like, damn, I already finished Uncharted, The Last of Us, uh, God of War, uh, all of those PlayStation exclusive, all that are PlayStation exclusive that has a good story, should I play this Yakuza Zero? I totally recommend. And the last part, it, it can be a narrative story driven game, it can be another Yakuza game that will probably cost you a chunk of change from your wallet, or you know, you could play Yakuza to meet Michael Jackson, that, that, that could be a thing. Hey. Yakuza Zero is absolutely wicked fun, I mean you can go there and play some baseball, you can go to the bowling alley to hit those strikes, and then you can go to play Mahjong. I mean, I've literally never played Mahjong. But yeah, you can do um, mini games and stuff. Uh, and right after you just did baseball and stuff, you can go outside the baseball court and meet Michael Jackson and, and dance literally on the other side of the building as a side quest. Ah. 
Okay, yeah, okay, I'm sorry, but I tried my best. But anyways, this is Miracle Johnson, the Michael Jackson's version of the of this game. Kiryu time, it's me. Miracle Johnson, you know. Kiryu Johnson. Osashi buri desu. Kiryu time. Osashi buri desu. Johnson. Anata wa dance ga watashi hoshi desu ga. It was easy to do this. Ita ita. I'm being serious for the people who haven't played it yet. But you know, you guys may say, you know, Michael Jackson uh, passed away in 2009. What do you mean? How is he in the game? Let me explain. This game takes place in 1988 Japan, where Japan has its economical bubble, where you, you know. Every every single person is rich, and that's how we're gonna start with the story. In 1988, Japan, young Kazuma Kiryu is still is definitely young, and looks not 20 years old. I mean, come on! From that face, I literally thought that he's like 30, but no, he's 20 years old. I checked the wiki. Moving on the story, um, Ka Kiryu Kazuma on an alleyway with no with another dude, except this dude is being beaten up by by Kiryu by Kiryu. You know, this dude is literally on the ground, streaming for help, and um, Kiryu is just beating the crap out of him. You know, you know he doesn't care. He's just a uh, fist all out, man. Come on. It's, he's, he's Yakuza. Why is he beating this guy up? Because this guy has a debt that is owned by a loan shark that Kiryu later on uh, gives the, the debt that he earned from the, du from the beaten up guy to the loan shark. And the cutscene that they used on where Kiryu is talking to this loan shark is one of the worst cutscenes I've ever seen in a, in a video game ever because my standards for cutscenes are pretty high up because the games that I've played past time is Metal Gear Solid and Uncharted and The Last of Us and God of War. Detroit, that entire game is one huge cutscene. Yeah, I took cutscenes very seriously and when I saw this type of cutscene where Kiryu is talking to the loan shark telepathically, um, I mean... I don't know what to say. I literally thought this game is gonna be like this when I played it. I seriously thought it was a visual novel, and I was correct. It is a visual novel. So cutscene, pretty bad, right? You you see those lips are or moving, but they're totally talking in those in that cutscene. And this cutscene happens probably like four times in the game. So yeah, it, it doesn't happen once. It happens probably twice near on the beginning of the game and then after that doesn't really happen again but you know it i think it happens again near to the end of the or in, near to the end or in the middle of the game if there's a cutscenes that your the impact will really will really hit you so yeah cutscenes makes games more like movies which is pretty important for yakuza 0 since it's narrative driven games it's so important that they decided to put four types of cutscenes that's right, four, four types. Okay, one of one of the cutscenes that they put is, yeah, the, the bad one, the ones that they use their mind to talk. The other one is the generic cutscenes that like to appear in, you know, sub-stories and stuff. The one that there is, where voice acting doesn't exist. But they talk uh, literally at the beginning where the dialogue or like subtitle appears on the box. But it's, it's very, you know, generic. It's the normal type of cutscene that always appears in every single Yakuza game. So yeah, you're technically gonna be pretty used to that type of cutscene because it's it's the it's the most used cut type of cutscene. Well, I don't even think it's even a cutscene, but I'll put it in anyways. The third type is actually the best type of cutscenes in the entire game. The pre-rendered cutscenes are very good. I mean, the graphics there looks the same. I mean, they use the same engine uh, to to render those cutscenes, but the animations, the voice acting, the lip sync, I mean the music cues, they all work together like like fish and water. And the last type of cutscene is uh, what design, it has the same design as the, uh, as the generic cutscene that appears in every single Yakuza game, except voice acting exists in this one. They actually speak some dialogue that is important to 
the main storyline. But other than that, Yakuza 0 is a very weird game. It is very weird. And I like it. I love it. I mean, the weird, its weirdness and its wackiness, it's fantastic. I've been talking a lot about Kiryu. So yeah, Kiryu's story, I liked it. His story is very down to the bone. It's very abrupt. Like in Kiryu's story, it's the main topic is technically grief. Kiryu is beaten down to the very bottom. He is lost. He doesn't really know what to do anymore. Oh, and all of his uh, brothers, upper higher ranks, and up in the Tojo clan, they all see him as a, just a little kid that wants to be a punk yakuza and wants money. But later on in the end, we see that Kiryu cared for other people, and Kiryu is a real yakuza because he doesn't actually want money. He doesn't want fame or pride. He just wants his loved ones and his friends to be safe. And that's that for me already explains that Kiryu is such a lovable and such a caring character. I love caring characters, but everyone, including me, all everyone literally thought that Kiryu is a punk kid who just wants money because his posture and his face all shows that he just hates everyone. Like, look at his face, it's pretty scary, right? But turns out Kiryu is just a very nice guy who just wants the world to be a better place. And that's for Kiryu's side. In Yakuza 0, you play as two people. Where in the other side, you play as Majima Goro. Majima's story for me is better than Kiryu's story. Because Majima's story is more to a mystery thriller. And I like how both stories start with how the hell do I end up in this place? Because in Kiryu, he doesn't even want this to happen. And Majima, he also doesn't want this to happen. It, it just randomly happens in their life because they're just very lucky. In Majima's story, you start off as, you know, Majima. Uh, you start off as Majima and, and you know, his opening, his intro, badass. I love Majima's introduction. It really introduces how cool and how, and how uh, you know, serious Majima is in Yakuza 0. The ending with Majima's story is, it's painful yet it's the only thing that he can do. I'm not gonna spo I'm not gonna say anything, but it is painful. The end of and the ending of the game really is perfect. I mean, there's no other way to to give a better ending than that in Yakuza Zero because Yakuza Zero is a prequel, and which I say it did perfectly. A lot of people say that Yakuza Zero is badass. It it kicks ass and it's so damn cool and, and it's very cool and I totally agree but the third act of the story it's very sad from all the Yakuza games that I've played before which is Yakuza 0, Kiwami and Kiwami 2 I've already played those three but I'm especially doing Yakuza 0 it's because Yakuza 0 is my favorite Yakuza game and yes I forgot to mention that while I was recording so haha <laughs> I'm very super smart and the gameplay too I forgot to mention the gameplay is great it is very very good for the first 30 hours of the game and now for the visuals of the game the visuals doesn't look so good I mean if you've seen Yakuza Zero's graphics, it doesn't go up to today's standards. It's mediocre at best. So yeah, visuals and first impressions, not good. But good thing, the songs and the music in this game is good. But so that's technically it for my Yakuza Zero review. I mean, it's it has great story, fantastic, fantastic combat system that you know the. It can get old, but they put a mechanic in in the game where you can literally just throw money out of the air and dudes will not go to you, but goes to the money, which is great. It has great music too, the music, fantastic. So yeah, Yakuza 0 main nailed three of the most important things to have to, to do good on uh, do good on a video on an on a single player video game. Sorry, music and combat. Yakuza Zero nailed those three. Stuff that's lacking on the game is one, the graph unfortunately, the graphics. It doesn't look that good. It's up to P it's on the PS3 standard. That's why I'm very I'm very excited for, you know, judgment lost judgment, the original judgment. Like Yakuza Like a Dragon and um, Kiwami 2, which I already played. Drag the new dragon engine specially made for the Yakuza series and it is fantastic, I love it. 
I love the Dragon Engine, and I would absolutely love to play Yakuza 0 in this Dragon Engine, but I know that they're definitely not gonna make a remake anytime soon, because it is too early to make a remake for Yakuza 0 since it was just released 5 years ago. So yeah, graphics doesn't look so good, but that really is it. I'm After that, it's probably the slow start on the beginning of the game. The beginning of the game does start in slow, but the amount of content in the game and, the, and its story does keep me glued to the controller. And it's definitely worth it, worth every single hour, every single 80 hours I've played in the game. And I really do want to erase my memory and play it all over again because it's it's that good. I wanted to give it a seven on the PH core because the set because seven is is the best core on the PH scale. But I'm not being biased here. A seven PH core is a little bit too high. You don't know if you don't know what I'm talking about here. I watch the video before this, then watch this part again. So the score that I'm gonna give to Yakuza Zero is a six pH scale, equivalent to milk. This is as good as drinking milk. But if the people who, you know, who is allergic to milk and want to, you know, understand my score for Yakuza Zero, if you take a sip of, of milk, you can take a sip of milk, and that's how it feels to play Yakuza Zero. Appearance doesn't look so good, and it doesn't have that much taste. And, but if you add flavors and lots of content, to the milk, like sugar or you know, chocolate flavored milk. That's good. It still doesn't look very, very good. There's only color in the damn thing. But when you drink it and you enjoy it, that's good. Thank you everyone for watching, by the way. It has been a very long time that I've ne that I've not made a video before. So this is a comeback to my channel. And thank you for the people who watched until the end of this video and do give a thumbs up on this video and share it to everybody in this world. So that's it, thanks for watching, and see you, you know, probably next month. Bye.